So what is up Africana fam? It's your girl Young Africana back at it again with the split slay in another video. But if you guys are enjoying the scenery like how I am, go ahead and click that like button because it's good for the algorithm and your edges. But if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So right now what I am doing is I am taking my wig and this entire video is sponsored by Tailored Collection. She is a black owned company. This wig is from her. I have a 16 inch 13 by 4 HD lace wig. So I already got my middle part split in the front. So now I'm also doing that for the back as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie up the one side that I won't be using at the moment. So the other side that is free, I'm going to go ahead and dye that side orange. And I'm using the Adore and Orange Blaze and my OGX conditioner. And you want to make sure that your conditioner is white. You can use any type of white conditioner in this concoction. Because I didn't really like the color of how like the orange look, I wanted to dilute it and give it more of a pastel -y orange look, you guys. So what I'm doing right now is I'm mixing those two in a mixing bowl and using uh, dye brushes to mix those two together until I get the perfect color. Now what I'm doing is I am splitting my hair into sections and I'm going pretty much by track by track and I'm just going to go ahead and dye the hair. It's pretty simple, pretty pretty repetitive you guys. You don't need to be a whole cosmetologist to know how to do this. It's pretty simple if I don't say so myself. <laughs> right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and dye on um, the hair and just to make sure that it is saturated I'm gonna go underneath the hair as well so I do not miss anything so right now I already got the back done and now I'm going on to the frontal I like to say the frontal for last just because you know for the aesthetic but <laughs> no but I just like to say the frontal for last because I feel like that's the fun part so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my comb and this is the trick to get your wigs looking so laid and slayed and like hair like and not blotchy or anything when you're dyeing your hair is using a rat tail comb so what i'm doing is i'm using the rat tail comb to kind of like get every strand so i don't risk getting it onto the lace and i do have my lace protected with my um bold hold liquid gold i actually use that as um a protective layer underneath it and i let it dry overnight so that's what I'm doing and right now I'm just going section by section. Se the sections are pretty thin because I want to make sure that I get every hair and I go in with my rat tail comb first in the roots and then I'm going to go ahead and use the brush at the bottom. Now on to the top you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing I was doing throughout the frontal part and I'm just using my comb just to you know get the details in and do not follow what I did with using my dirty gloves on the other side I didn't really care because I knew I was dying that side black but if you're doing any other pastel color I would suggest you wearing clean gloves before you touch the other side okay but again I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing throughout the entire hair and I'm just combing through the hair with the dye and stuff just to make sure that it is saturated and I got every nook and cranny Now on to the black side, I'll be using my dark and lovely Go Intense Permanent Dye in the color Super Black and my Adore Royal Navy. Why am I using navy blue? Well, that's a good question for asking. Um, but I pretty much use navy blue because that's how you achieve the darkest level of black. Like we are unlocking the new level of black. So I use the entire box of the box dye and I used the entire bottle of the Royal Navy and I mixed those two together and I just did, this, did the same thing that I did on the other side and I went ahead and used a plastic just to protect the other side just so that you know the colors don't bleed and stuff but again it's pretty repetitive I'm just doing the same exact thing that I did on the other side and the results came out pretty flawless if you ask me
Now I went ahead and moved the plastic just a little bit because I really wanted to get that part. When it comes to parting and everything in general, I just like it to be super, super neat. I don't want any blonde roots. So I really try to go in there, you guys, like really in there. <laughs> and as, as you guys can see, I went in there again, just to make sure, you know. And I went ahead and shampooed the black side and I just rinsed the orange side, blow dried it and flat ironed it and this is how we are looking. How y'all feeling it so far? Go ahead and comment an orange or black heart if y'all feeling it so far. Anyways, now what I'm doing is I'm taking my clippers and I wanted to clip, um, you know, just the beginning parts of the bob on my head because I really struggle with cutting bobs on my mannequins like even to like even though this is like a one-step process of how it looked like you guys I was struggling I might even go on front I was really struggling I'm still struggling how to cut a bob onto a mannequin head because it's like you know it looks nice on the mannequin head and then once you put it on your head it's a whole different story but I'm trying it looks nice hair but just know that there was um, a lot of work put into play okay but as y'all can see it's definitely giving it's giving edna mode edna mode <laughs> now nah, i'm mad corny for that i'm so sorry <laughs> um but now i'm going in and i'm gonna go ahead and bump the ends just a wee bit you guys we're not doing no 90s bump all the way in you guys you know that bump that your mom did for you and you told her specifically to bump it like this but she bumped it all the way in so now you're over here looking like a black shirley temple but yeah we're just bumping it slightly in here okay All right, y'all, now it's time to cut off those ear tabs and now on to the install. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my 91% alcohol and um, a cotton pad. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe and clean my forehead of any oils or any ducts on my forehead. So we have to make sure that, you know, the install is laid and slayed. And now I'll be using the Taylor Collection adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and do two layers of that all around my perimeter you guys this is regular stuff you guys if you guys are africana og filming like y'all would notice already this is like y'all would notice like the back of your hand okay but right now what i'm doing is i'm taking my popsicle stick and i'm gonna go ahead and lay that glue really nice and really um i lost what i was gonna say you guys but y'all know what i mean flat seamless you get me okay And now on to sticking our lace onto the glue. And one thing I would say, this glue stick, y'all. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm saying the same things about the same. But, like, honestly, the, the, the things I'm reviewing, they hitting, okay? Like, your girl ain't lying. I would let y'all know if I'm not feeling something. And most of the times, like, I, I just get the good stuff. Like, ugh. I'm just, I'm blessed, you know? <laughs> but yeah, the glue was bomb, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, once I stuck it on there, it was stuck. It was not going nowhere, okay? But I went ahead and cut some tabs, and I did the middle part first, and I used my eyebrow razor, and I just went ahead and cut off that part. And then I'm going back in with my rat tail comb and some glue just to catch the parts that I didn't catch. And then we're just going to go ahead and stick that on. Now we're going to go ahead and do our sides now. And we're just going to do the same exact thing. So easy. Super duper easy. It's so fetch. Anyone can do it, you know? <laughs> A 
Alright you guys, now that we are done cutting the lace, we're going to go ahead and further the melt with Algasibi Free Spray. And I'm just spraying that all over my hairline just to ensure that that lace is indeed melted, okay? And I'm just going to use my blow dry on warm heat. And then I went ahead and put on a bonnet because I was not trying to do my hair. Um, getting stuck with the elastic band. I put my elastic band for 15 minutes. But now onto the makeup. I already have my face prepped and primed and my eyebrows done. And what I'm using is my Dior Forever Foundation in the color 9N. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face because who wouldn't, you know? <laughs> and I also went ahead and used some of the foundation just to deepen up the lace a little bit because the lace is a little bit too light. Um, but now I'm going into my Dior Forever Concealer in the cover, in the color 7N. And I'm going to use that as my first highlight color. Now I'm just using my foundation brushes to buff out those harsh lines. And then I'm just using my Sephora buffer brush just to buff out the first concealer. Now on second concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color, you already know, rich bitch. We've been rocking for three years. Uh, such a, a wonderful boyfriend, you know? <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I went ahead and did that as my second layer, and I'm doing also my T-zone with that concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my small buffer brush just so I could get that nice highlight. And then back in with my foundation brush just to buff out any, you know, harsh lines. You want to be blended, okay? And then back into the Sephora buffer brush. And now I'll be using my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the color, I believe it's Sedan or Congo, one of those. I don't remember, but it's the darkest shade, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and I've been contouring my nose recently and it is such a game changer I finally did it and I finally know how to do it right so it looks good you guys so if you guys want a detailed contouring tutorial then go ahead and comment that down below but I'm just using that little small buffer brushes to blend that out and now going into powder I am using my Benai powder in the color chestnut and I'm using my Gant Beauty Blender just to really press in that powder so we get a nice and airbrush look and then I'm going into my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color medium deep as my second powder to hi highlight my face and I'm just using that to highlight my nose now I'm going in with my Saharan volume 2 blush palette in the color Abbey and I'll be using that as my contour shade around my face and also around my nose. And then I'll be using my Bare Minerals pressed, uh, pressed Powder Foundation in the color Cocoa. And I'll be using that around any other place I didn't get with powder, okay? And this will just give me a nice flawless look, okay? Now going into eyeliner, I'm using my Essence Eyeliner in the color Matte Black. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself a nice Nikki wing liner. You know I had to represent or whatever because, you know, this is something Nikki would do. So I had to do the eyeliner that Nikki would do, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yo, I haven't done eyeliner in so long. But my eyeliner came out real, real crisp, real, real nice. So I was like, okay, Viv, you got it still or whatever. Now let me stop talking like a bird. I need to chill. I'm having too much fun with this voiceover right now, y'all. And then I went in with my NYX um, orange eyeliner. It was so dried up, you guys. I was struggling, but I made it work. And I couldn't catch um, the full thing because, of course, I wasn't in frame like a damn dummy. But, um, yeah, you get the gist. I just put that on top. Now on to blush 
back into the Sahara and Blush palette, palette too. I'll be using the color Neo as my blush color. And then we are spraying our face. Uh, and we are pretty much done. Well, not yet, so don't leave. Alright, so clearly my line was looking a little cray cray. So I went in with some concealer that's a little bit lighter than me. I used the Tarte Shape Tape one. And I just went ahead. Oh, actually, no, I lied. It's a whole different concealer. <laughs> it's my Age Rewind in the color Hazelnut. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my line just to make sure that it's nice and crisp. And actually my color. And then, you know, just to cheat the system a little bit, I went in with a mascara wand and just to touch up that black part because I didn't want my part looking like Moses parted it, okay? It ain't need to be that wide, so I wanted to close it up a little bit, okay? Um, but, <laughs> yeah. So now, going into my wax stick, I'll be also using the Tailored Collection wax stick on my hair just to get... Well, tough. I cannot talk today. To catch those flyaways, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and use that first and then I'm going to go in with my hot comb and I'm just going to go ahead and use it to press that in. And as y'all can see, it got my hair laid and slayed, okay? Yeah, as y'all can see, I'm over here doing the dream doll. <laughs> And I just went ahead and bumped my ends really quick. And these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not. If you have not, what are you doing? Like, if you're watching this video clearly and you got to the end, clearly you like me that much. So you should just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next segment. Deuces!